Hello, my name is Patrick John Mills. I'm a painter, coach, and a sculptor. Um, I just walked into the art factory in my studio, and I wasn't really planning on doing anything, but then I was in my my just my regular clothes and like always I just lost track of everything and just decided to start working so that is why I have my my kind of flip-flops and uh, I'm in shorts and don't really have a great deal I was just anyway I just got lost in time and space and decided to start sculpting and Tanya walked in and I said and she was as she always is, so beautiful, and just decided to capture me in, well, sitting there welding and pulling out a huge hilti and angle grinders and slugging away. I found that with just having these shoes or slippers, I was able to kind of hug the stone really well. I know that you're probably thinking, if you're a doctor or a nurse, that I'm a bit nuts, but <laughs> maybe in the head, but not in the feet. Anyways, um, the art factory has been a huge undertaking, and I've become the amount of tools and all the things that I've been using, so much has been focused on just renovating and demolishing and and no, using the actual thing. space so in the process it was kind of a free course in learning how to use all of these all of this equipment these stones were found Tommy and I were just on the weekend we go for walks and we just found these along the along a path that we walk up around nearby there. and uh, for whatever reason these stones just kind of uh, spoke to me the first sculpture here is splitting headache and I wanted I had started it I had started this was the first one I started working on and I really I was using my one of these Dremel tools and I was carving out things and then I just said fuck it and pulled out the huge hilti because I wanted to go straight through the whole entire stone. This I love. This is called Wallflower. Tanya came up with the title of that one. <laughs> we love words. And uh I wasn't really thinking when I made that one at all. This stone, the the base of it is what really, really captivated me. I made one half of it really old and, and rusted and kind of old. And then the other side is all, I grinded it down and then made it all super shiny kind of modern and new and slick and then I wanted this stone like a head to be kind of spiked in into the the mind or the heart or the just the the brain of the stone and just I wanted to show you around my studio I'm always working constantly so I just leave pallets and pallets all around this I was working on, reworking that, because the sky just didn't go. I have tons and tons of palettes, huge amounts of paint all over constantly. I'm, I'm just like Friar Tuck eating like a, like in a buffet restaurant all the time. I go through absolutely massive amounts of paint. And I'm not sure, I just, I. I'm just wanting that that generosity and that texture of the paint so it really when you see a painting you really feel it and it you feel the flesh of the surface 
This was done after I asked Tanya to marry me. And we were out in the Indian Ocean and that was the first painting I did. This one is titled The Scar. This really relates to just COVID, the world, your mind on fire, your the tornado of all your thoughts, all the the whole world just exploding inside of you, but yet juxtaposed to that you have a calmness. This one is titled The Rhythm of Silence. I just had such peace and a bleachness in my mind. Then I'm probably think I'm freaking bipolar or something, but this one's titled Breathing Fire. And this I used a massive amount of, of red paint and cadmium red and just amazing pigments. I made all of these easels in the center of the studio. I have a whole load of them. Uh, six of them I made these large easels just so that I can really paint and just go from one to the next all the time. I have tons of small paintings too. It makes it affordable if you're if someone's interested and not everyone can afford these massive paintings to be honest and you don't have the space for them they're not really terribly domestic and i love painting huge things it's just the gestural act of just being completely free when your your arms and your soul are just completely expressed and it's it's full capacity and Thank you so much. And if you made it this far in the video, <laughs> please comment and share. I really appreciate your, uh, your kind words and, and your points of view and your perspective. So live, love art. And thank you.